Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Avengers Endgame Basic Ant-Man figure. So before we take a look at Ant-Man, let's take a look at the only accessory that he comes with, his shrinking effect. And this effect looks really good for a basic figure. Um, these basic figures surprise me because they're, they're actually really good, and the accessories are also really good on them. So this is the shrinking effect for Ant-Man. And as you can see, all of his suit is sculpted in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then you get to the bottom, and here is actual Ant-Man, because this is just the shrinking effect, and this is him at the bottom. And it looks pretty good. It does look like a miniature version of the figure. Except they didn't paint the eyes on. It would have been nice if they would have painted the eyes on the helmet on there. But it's really tiny, so you really don't notice. Another thing I wanted to point out is they did sculpt the back on here. They did sculpt the back of his suit on. And I think that's a really good attention to detail, because honestly, they could have just left that smooth. They could have just not sculpted anything to it. Because, you know, you're mainly going to have it just like that. But they went ahead and sculpted that, you know. So that's pretty cool. And you're supposed to kind of have it like that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt for Ant-Man. Let's take a look at the head sculpt here. It looks pretty good. Um, it could have used some more paint detail because it's just cast in that gray color. And on the top here of the helmet is gunmetal. And they should have painted the whole helmet that color. That would have looked nice. But yeah, it doesn't look bad. And there's a reason for that. Because it is the same exact helmet as the Avengers, uh, not in game, the, uh, the Infinity War Cole Obsidian Wave Ant-Man. They're the exact same thing. Just, this one just has a lot less paint detail. So yeah, there's a reason why this looks so good. It's because it's this exact same head sculpt, just with less paint detail. And looking at the body, which by now we all know that these suits are supposed to be white instead of uh, this grayish color. And they did do some marbleization to it, and it looks pretty good. I think they should have done that to Ant-Man's helmet. Since, since it's not uh, painted silver, they could have done some marbling to it. And the red didn't come out too bad. I mean, there's it's missing right there. And it almost kind of looks like it fades to pink right here. Is it just me? Or does that look pink right there? Which up here kind of looks like it fades into pink too. Which that's kind of odd. But the details aren't too bad on it. His suit has a nice texturing to it. Or the non-armored parts, I should say. Has a nice textured look to it. And on the back, he doesn't really have any paint detail. And looking at the Legends one, I guess it's the same. I thought there was some paint detail on it, but nope, there isn't. Um, there should have been some red right here on his torso. Right there and there. And they put the red on the arms. And they didn't color the toes black. But, I mean, this is a basic figure. you got to think, this is a $20 figure. This is a... Eight or nine dollar figure, so it's not going to have all of the bells and whistles that the twenty dollar figure has. Um, one thing that's weird on mine is the arm is very, very loose, and if you try to pose him, then it pops out of the joint. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it tends to pop out, and you have to shove it back in there. So that's pretty irritating. So now let's go over his articulation. So he can look up a good bit. He can't look down at all. Uh, or, I mean, he has a ball-jointed head. I didn't say that. Um, he has a ball-jointed head that can look up just a little bit. Can't look down, but it can move side to side. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can move out that far. He has single-jointed elbows that just swivel side to side. And as you can see, this one's just very loose. It kind of just wants to flop everywhere. Oh, and there's the, uh, the time travel device right there. Um... No torso articulation. Um, he does have swivel hips that can barely kick forward and barely kick back. And that is all for his articulation. Um, like I said, this is a basic figure, so you're not going to get all the articulation of a Marvel Legends figure in this. So now let's do some size comparisons here. Let's get him to stand here. Okay, so now let's do some size comparisons. Here he is next to the Quantum Suit Captain America figure from the armored Thanos build a figure. 
and Captain America is taller than him, which is accurate. Um, Paul Rudd is 5'9", and Chris Evans is 6' even. So, Captain America should be taller than him. And as we all know, the Target 2-packs just reused this body for the same figure. So honestly, the size of Ant-Man, if you use this body, is inaccurate. And this is more accurate, because the basic version is shorter than this version. So, that's another reason why I bought it, is because it will scale with Legends, because, you know, Ant-Man is shorter than Captain America. So, you know, these figures being shorter than Marvel Legends, that actually works out pretty well. And finally, here he is next to the Cole Obsidian Wave Ant-Man. And uh, let me adjust his foot right there. And as you can see, this Ant-Man is way too tall. He should be the same height as this basic figure. So overall, I'd highly recommend it. Because not only will it scale with Legends, but it also comes with this really awesome shrinking effect. So yeah, I, I'd say you definitely get what you pay for. For, like I said, 8 or $9. This is a really good figure. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.